Mean Girls came out in 2004 and is still very relevant all these years later, as well as very quotable. And people also look at it very, very differently now than they did back in the day, particularly Regina and Janice's characters. I know people who just like mean characters as a trope and as an archetype, and that's cool, but I've met people who genuinely like, admire, idolize, want to be like Regina's character. That terrifies me, because I've known people who want to be like the character because they want to treat people like crap, and I like to stay far away from people like that. I've also seen people think of this character as a symbol of strength, confidence, and power, and I sort of understand, but the way I feel, you can be assertive, stand up for yourself, and be confident without treating people like garbage. Because confident people generally don't need to tear people down, that's what insecure people do. And we all have our insecurities, we all feel bad about ourselves, but it can be very, very grossly mishandled. Janice's character is one that a lot of people really don't like nowadays. And there is a very valid criticism that she's not called out on her flaws nearly as much, she's treated like she's in the right far more, when she can be every bit as mean and manipulative as Regina, and that totally is a valid criticism that anybody can be a mean person. But I like that character the most, and Janice is the character I want to give a hug to, and she's the character I really do relate to the most. Because I see where she's coming from. A lot of people think she was the original Queen Bee when she and Regina were friends, and I do disagree with that. Because Regina says, oh yeah, uh, me and Janice were friends, but then I got this boyfriend, and she got so mad when I'd blow her off. Because Regina doesn't think other people matter, doesn't treat them very well. So I get why Janice is mad. I absolutely understand the hurt and the betrayal when a friend turns on you, someone you thought you were close to, but then Regina even takes it a step further by cutting her off from the community and essentially piling all this abuse on her by telling others that Janice is a lesbian, which in a homophobic environment, that did make you ostracized, that did get you abused. And Janice clearly had no social support, did not see this person held accountable. It went unchecked. I get how that unhealed trauma and lack of accountability for your abusers can really make you bitter, really make you angry, make you want revenge. You know, if you don't heal what hurt you, you can bleed on people who didn't even cut you. So, I'm not saying she is in the right, but I am saying I do understand where she's coming from. And I do hope that we can be more compassionate and heal our traumas.